Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We've seen some sun today. We had a bunch of rain, but now it's beautiful. And I hope you're doing something fun. Hi, rascal. <laughs> <laughs> he just Jay wants to go in. We just went to get groceries. Not that much fun, but the thrift stores were open. Our local thrift stores. So we thought we'd just pop it. Oh, my goodness. And Dave found this book in the out, in, outside actually which are things that are free and isn't that cool yeah it's vintage and it's got all these things oh look at that outfit wow isn't that cool yeah and it kind of tells you different things and it has different textiles and Mm. It talks about different um, needlework and things like that. And it has patterns too. Yeah. So you can actually make these. Yeah, it does. It has some patterns. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. And I'll just show you my skirt. It's gotten quite warm. This is, it looks like it's uh, for fall because of the colors, I think, but it actually is very light. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And uh, just to, I put a t shirt with it. And then this vest. I think you could just wear the vest too. It'll be kind of cute just on its own. I love this bag, this Heather. Little... Oh, yeah, and my little bottle oh, tap. Pop. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. How they made that. Yeah, is it? That's so cool. Yeah. And I love your Boy, sandals. Now that the sun is out. It's really. Uh, well, we're going to have to get changed. We're going to the beach. Warm, yeah. yeah. I want to show you out. You look think? great. I love it, actually. I think this is so cool. It's actually really comfortable. It was until the sun came out and it just went up about 20 degrees. Here. I know. It feels like it, doesn't but, it? Yeah, I love it. We're not complaining, it. though. Yeah. <laughs> what are these called? Gas, uh, gas light? Yeah, I think that's the gas name, light. yeah. Yeah, and I love the Birkenstocks with them and this t-shirt. I think it's really cool. Yeah. I like the combination. Yeah. And I like the necklace. Do you like that? Yeah. What do you think that is? I think it could be turquoise. I do. Yeah, I think it is. I'm going to come a little closer. Yeah, it feels like it. It's kind of cool, eh? Yeah, I like it. So this place is called the Comic Contra. And let me show you. This is so cool. These are comics for a dollar. Can you believe that, Heather? I do. It's amazing. Look at it. Vintage comic books. How fun is that? I love the actual colors in this. One. Yeah. They're pretty. Yeah, this is something. So let's, let's see. Supergirl? Supergirl. That might be kind of cool. She failed. That's so cool. What else have we got in here? Supergirl. I'm going to put this oh, back squirrel Look at this, guys. Look at this. Stephen King, The Stand. <laughs> oh, Archie. Oh, you got an Archie. Oh, my goodness. Christmas. Archie. Archie Comics. There's another one. Sabrina, The Teenage Witch. Wow. Okay, that's cool. This is so cool. These are all a dollar. Oh, I just can't get over this. So much fun, eh? It sure is. It's a few to choose from, too. Check out. Yeah, YouTube. This is awesome. Yeah, we're gonna show your store. This is amazing. No, this is great. This is awesome. I can't believe your selection. They're remarkable. Uh, anything for love, the music of Beat Love. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be playing. Oh, you're kidding. Uh, 11th to the 26th, the Bruin Company. Bad out of hell. There's Superboy, there's Supergirl, there's Squirrel Girl. Jeez, this is unreal. I didn't know there was this many comics uh, back in the day. I wonder when these Here, are from. Some of them are from, like, like the tags. It was 50 cents at one time, this was 40 cents. Yeah. And then the ones, Walt Disney ones, well, they're 20 cents. 
Oh yeah, the that's games. It's gotta be the 80s. It's Lego. Oh yeah. Did you say it's the 80s? Oh yeah, that's the 80s. Or, or maybe the 70s. Somewhere in that range. Do they have Lego then? Well, I, I did. This looks older. I had Lego as a kid. Oh, look at the glasses. That's gotta be. That's older. It's the 60s. Maybe even the 70s. Oh yeah. Yeah. The book man. Isn't that cool? Really cool. You might see the sunset. Do you see it? No, not yet, but I'm hoping I didn't miss it. I might have missed it. The tide goes out, it's almost goes out a mile here. It's amazing. You can just walk out forever. No, it it's, yeah, it went down, but still worth seeing. We got a lot of clams here right now. There's so many little critters. Let's go see. Okay. That sky, it's got oh, these purples and the pinks. I love it. It's going to be a gorgeous day here. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be beautiful. It's Taking the shoes the off. Here. Yeah. Are we gonna see some hermit crabs? Yeah, let's go see some hermit crabs. There's a lighthouse popping out in we the distance. Been to this beach in quite a while. No, there's so many gorgeous beaches here. This one is Tea Hill. Oh, feels great. Do you remember where I left my sandals? I can't tell you how many times I, I go. <laughs> you go out for a few miles and you come back and you forget where you left your... Somebody's having a party behind you tomorrow, I think. They got the tent set up. Yeah. Yeah, let's just crash it. <laughs> do you remember, do you ever do that? Do you ever do that? Oh, I used to show up at weddings with friends. We used to do it for fun. We'd show up at somebody's wedding when we were kids. <laughs> it was so much fun. Oh, people, and when you tell them, and then people would be like, oh, the more the merrier. It was so much fun. That's <laughs> Look, guys, there's the moon. Where? Oh my goodness, there's a jet just just on top of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Hope goodness. You all have a wonderful night, yeah. wherever you are. <laughs> love you. I love you. I love it. You do? Yeah. Thank you. It is very, very, very hot here. It's very cool and fit. It feels very, very cool. And you could even wear it to the beach, which is where we're hoping to go after. We're going to go and have supper with a friend of ours. Oh, the earrings. Oh, those are gorgeous earrings. Wow. Those are beautiful, Heather. Yeah. Okay. It's very sunny. And just because this is kind of a short little dress, I put my jean shorts underneath. Just yeah. to make it more comfortable for me, but you don't have to. You get a little biker shorts or even pants would be good with this. And uh, I wanted a little elevation, so I have these. Uh, Doc Martin sandals on. <laughs> and then my hat. And then this little bag. I don't think I've ever worn this one before. I love it. It's got a little zipper. Yeah. And it actually works. These are perennial. So much fun going to these. I know. We're seeing if we can find any hanging baskets to add to our decor on our fence. See if there's anything on sale. I love what you're wearing, Heather. Thank you. It's kind of the appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice and cool. Do so, you have some? Look at the little bee inside. Yeah. They're beautiful. Look at these ones. Like a day they're lily. Gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Just a gorgeous. Color. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. 
Wow, that's just so beautiful. Sure is. Oh, that would really give a, a different look to your landscape. They're beautiful. Yeah. Now, if you had a hang fast, you could just fill it with something. See, that would be good. Tuna would be a nice thing for where we're needing it because they really are quite. Tolerant to the sun. Dave, I love what you're wearing. Thanks. Look at that. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah. I, I really like that. What is it called? I, I have had that one before, and it does tolerate the sun really well. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. it. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Very colorful. It's like a flame, kind of reminds me of a flame. But a very colorful, pretty flame. Look at these huge marigolds. They do say that they, they help to keep away the mosquitoes. Do you think it's true? They're pretty. They are quite pretty. Yeah. My grandmother used to love these, and I thought they were so boring. I thought of all the flowers you could pick, these are so boring, but now I really like them. There's nothing really boring about them. No. <laughs> and the portulaca over there. That's kind of nice in a rock garden. Mm, this gives me kind of an idea, Dave around your rocks that you did. Oh yeah. Oh, that's Ooh, a good idea. Yeah. Add a little bit of interest in color. Yeah. Kind of pretty. And you can kind of deadhead these as well. Take away the old blossoms and then new ones emerge. But there's such a beautiful array of color. And it looks like in the pack you would get all different colors. Yeah. And then geraniums. Those are pretty amazing geraniums for, you know, you can bring them in and overwinter them and just sit them in a windowsill. Stick them outside. They're great for out in the sun too. Hey, is that not gorgeous? I didn't get any begonia. I usually get this every year. I always have a hanging basket of begonia. But I think, I don't know if it does that well in the cold cold sun though. So these grapes are coming along good? Oh, I love grapes. It's a fuchsia. It's called Bella Rose, Bella Rosella. Oh, look oh, at, look at that! Look at this one. It's full blue. Wow! Wouldn't the hummingbirds love that one? Yeah. Oh, the hummingbirds have been coming to their new feeder, and they're loving it. They come right up to your head. It's really something. Still, you can hear the little words. <laughs> yeah. Saying thank you. Hey, Dave. What do you think? I don't know. It's all so good. How can you go wrong? Gorgeous day. Sun's kind of covered by a little bit of cloud, which is amazing. Boiling hot. I have no idea what that is. Anyone know? Love to know. I feel like it might spread. But I wonder if it grows in sun or shade. They kind of have a shade. I think it's time we're going to take all these rocks that we collected from when we 
in the back of the property or in the side of the property. And we just kind of piled them here, but we're going to kind of make them a little bit more decorative now. So I'm going to do a little dry stone stacking and we're going to see what we can do with a bunch of stone. I got a few more pieces too, a flat ones. We're starting to take all this driftwood. I'm going to use this piece right here. Love the form to it. And we're going to try to turn it into a table. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to do that with some stone and we're going to incorporate all these pieces. And we're going to mix it with beach glass to create stained glass windows. And we're going to create a new inviting entranceway here. So much fun! Heather's been practicing some embroidery. She's taking these cut up denim and she's making these patches for some jeans. Yes, you want to say hi, Rusty? Say hi. <laughs> it's so cool. Can't wait to see what she does with them. So these are so cool. So Heather's also working on some other patches and these are just fabric patches that she's glued onto. So just some scrap fabrics glued onto the denim. And she's going to embroider the edges. She's going to embroider details too, like the gnome. And uh, just kind of using it like it's a pen. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on this counter. I really want to show you how anyone can do this. I love uh, being inspired through fashion. I find it so a real quick and easy way to be able to uh, kind of overlap different inspiring ideas and, and be able to just try something that you have never done before. I've never built a kitchen cupboard before. This was all two by threes for the most part and a chunk of bamboo one and a half inch thick by six foot long and I cut out the sink. I built the framework for these cupboards and this wasn't that hard to do and I just used half inch spruce plywood. So this is basically a screw and glue with a little bit of nails tacked on. The piece that I cut out for the sink, uh, I ended up extending this unit. I originally made it six feet long but I added this onto the end and I wanted to put the cutting board just loosely on top, get a little more counter space this way and it's next to the stove so that's works out just wonderfully and put in a little uh, drawer there we found a horseshoe <laughs> it's a it's not a real horseshoe but it's this is really cool so we just thought we'd put that on for the for the handle on the door and just a little bit of storage underneath we actually have a spot here that could be a dishwasher right now it's uh it's a spinning wheel which is storing <laughs> but it just shows you how you guys can do this you can put the plumbing in and it's not, it's nothing's too hard. You just take it baby steps and putting the sink in. And then even the, I just love this, uh, the water, the tap. And this was a fairly inexpensive way to be able to really create your own look, how you want it. So we just have a fridge on one side, an old, uh, it's actually a new model, but Galantz, but uh, an old, uh, it's, it's wonderful. It's all we need. Fridge, freezer, and then the stove on the other end. We're eventually going to build an island out in front of this, uh, which I had done previously in our past place. Uh, love that. And I'm going to show you how to do that too in the future. But, you know, this is something that you guys can definitely do. Fun.